My name is Dan James and I'm the Sustainable Economy Officer for Exmoor National Park Authority. Today we're going to be taking the 300 Exmoor Coastal Link Bus along the coastline of Exmoor. The 300 Coastal Link service runs from the seaside resort of Minehead on the edge of Exmoor National Park along the coastline of the National Park through to the harbourside village of Lynmouth. Along the way we're going to see a huge diversity of landscapes. We're currently seeing rolling hills, very quintessentially English kind of countryside before we get onto a wild ever moorlands. We're then going to be seeing some spectacular coastal scenery with some of the highest coastal cliffs in the country. One of the best things about the 300 Coastal Link service is that it offers you just a brilliant day out. It shows you some of the best parts of the National Park, some of the most stunning scenery in the country. The service is used by both locals and also by visitors to the National Park. On the right hand side is Selworthy Beacon, one of the highest hills on Exmoor and that plunges down to the vale next to the coast and below it is the Porlock Marsh which is a salt marsh created recently. Being up here on the top of the open top bus you just get an absolutely great vantage point of the scenery. You can see over the hedges, over the fences, you get a 360 degree panorama of the scenery all around us. We're just entering the village of Porlock. Porlock is really very typical of an Exmoor village. You'll see we've got thatched cottages around us, some great architecture, some great history in the old church here. There's some lovely walks, quite gentle walks down to the coast and down to the harbour at Porlock Rear or across the salt marsh with great bird watching opportunities. As we leave Porlock, we're about to enter Porlock Hill. This is a 1 in 4, 25% gradient hill and it's meant to be one of the steepest roads in the country. It's a great thing to be on the bus to experience this. The 300 Coastal Link route is actually dubbed as the most scenic route in Britain for buses and the scenery is just spectacular. From the bus you can look down on the landscape and you get these ride sweeping vistas right across the moorlands, across the Bristol Channel. If we look over our right we can see the Bristol Channel and far away in the distance is the coastline of South Wales. And as we look behind us we can also see the Bay of Porlock and the, the Vale and just see how flat that area is compared to the rest of the landscape around us. Using the bus is a great way to see the views, you don't have to concentrate on the road ahead and it's also a great way of taking cars off the road and allowing everybody to see an uninterrupted view of the National Park. Along the route there's access to some great walking routes, places like County Gateway can head into a wild dune valley which was based on R.D. Blackmore's Lorna Dune book. One of the characteristics of Exmoor, these beach hedgerows and the ancient woodland that surrounds us here, it's a great habitat for wildlife and it's a great unique part of the area. As you can see, the surrounding moorlands are what makes Exmoor really. They're very characteristic of this area. Heather moorland can look quite bleak on a day like today, but also if you come to say maybe late August when the sun's out and the heather's out, you'll see a rich purple colour right across the landscape. And here we are looking really into the heart of Exmoor, where you've just got miles and miles of wilderness areas. And to our right as well, the landscape, you begin to get this idea of how the landscape and the moorlands just rolled right into the sea here. We're seeing very deep-sided coombs with the woodlands. Again, we've got one of the most wooded coastlines that you'll find anywhere in the country, and it's also one of the most inaccessible coastlines. And so again, getting this bird's eye view looking down on it is one of the only ways to actually experience the coastline of Exmoor. One of the great things about this service is that it's a service for all weathers. As you've seen today, the weather can change on Exmoor, but you've got the open top bus if you want to enjoy the views, but there's also some cover if you need to get out and take some shelter from the weather. Okay, we're now coming along to one of the final parts of the journey, and this is when the views really just get absolutely spectacular. As you can see on our right-hand side, we really are hugging the cliffs here as we drop down into the harbour village of Lynmouth. Well here we are just on the last part of the journey now, we're going down Countersbury Hill and down into Lynmouth. Again, very steep hill here, one in four in places and I think, you know, it just shows what a great journey this is. Well here we are at Journey's End, we're here in Lynmouth, 
Once we've explored for Harbour Side Village, we might be able to take the cliff railway up to Linton, or if you're feeling brave, climb a 400 foot up to the top of a cliff yourself. The 300 service certainly is one of the most scenic bus routes in Britain and it will certainly make you think again about using the bus to travel and it's possibly the best way to access the National Park and all the scenery that we can offer on Exmoor.